Hey guys, thanks for joining me on today's edition of Flaws of the New Black. I've been thinking about you all week and reflecting on conversations I've had recently, emails I've received, comments that have been left, even Facebook messages that I've gotten and read. And they're all pointing or they all have pointed toward a topic I just haven't flat out mentioned yet. And it's this, it's depression. And the reason I mention it and the reason I think it's been coming up is because I want you to know that when you're a caregiver or you are a parent of a child with autism, you are going to more than likely lots of times feel like crap. You're going to get depressed and that's normal and it's okay. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not supposed to know it all. You're not supposed to know how to do it all. You're not supposed to wear a cape and run around like super mommy. You're allowed to feel sad. You're allowed to say, I don't know what to do with this. I'm gonna crawl under my desk, which is my preferred place to hide when I'm depressed. And I want you to know that the best thing you can do when you feel like you can't get out of your own way, you can't get out of your own bed in the morning, when you just want to cry, the best thing you can do is reach out and tell somebody. If you don't want to say the word depressed, I understand. You know, men don't like that word. But they can tell you, you know, I feel a little down. Or I feel a little blue. Go with that. Tell somebody. Call your mom, tell your girlfriend, tell one of the moms in the pickup line at school. The best thing to do is to reach out. And it's very hard. It feels almost counterintuitive when we are sad and feeling anxious and frightened. Somebody gets a diagnosis of cancer, we are scared. It doesn't feel right to reach out. We kind of want to cuddle with it. We want to curl up in a little ball and rock but that's the worst thing we can do. I would suggest two things, you know, definitely reach out. And the other thing is to just flat out sit down and say, yeah, this sucks. Acknowledge it. This sucks. My loved one is sick. My kid just got this terrible diagnosis. Every hope and dream I've had for my marriage, for my child. That's it. It's up in smoke. Somebody's going to die. Somebody else is maybe never going to leave home. You are allowed to feel like crying over that. You are allowed to sit down on the floor and have a big old fat tantrum. And then when you're done with your tantrum, I want you to say to yourself, yup, this sucks. And now I'm calling a friend and I'm getting a bottle of wine and I'm going to go sit down and chat with my girls. I'm going to get with my tribe and I'm going to say, this is how bad this feels. Because otherwise it's going to eat you up inside. It's going to chew you all of your insides till you get sick. You're going to be too sick then to do the right thing, to take care of your sick husband, mother, properly. You won't be able, you'll be incapacitated. You'll be unable to sit down and talk to the doctor who just gave you that diagnosis about your kid. You won't be able to function to think, what do I do next? You won't even be able to ask that question because you'll be so sick yourself. It's a hard thing to realize as a parent, as a caregiver, but the first person you have to take care of is who people say it with me now. It's yourself. Remember what they say in the air on the airplane, put your oxygen mask on first and then you can help the kids seated next to you. Cause if you can't breathe, you can't help anybody else. I want you to reach out. I want you to acknowledge that it stinks. Okay. And I want you to just remember 
that in doing that, you're beginning to take care of yourself. There are lots of ways to take care of yourself from then on. You're going to have to. The diagnosis of cancer is not a sprint, people. It's a marathon. So you better be ready. And as my therapist told me, you better convene your team. So you got to get your support system. And one of those people in your support system has to be dedicated to helping you take care of you. They have to remind you to go to the doctor for your physical. They have to remind you every single day you got to take a walk. And if they're really a great team member, while you take your walk, they will sit with the spouse who is sick or the child who just had the terrible diagnosis. And you can take an hour and go for a walk. All right? The thing you got to do is take care of yourself. What is the expression? You can't pour from an empty vessel. And I want you just to think about that this weekend, okay? I want you to take some time for yourself, no matter what life has handed you this week, and I hope it has handed you a fantastic week. But everybody has something always niggling at the back of their brain. Something that makes us doubt ourselves, feel anxious, frightened, a little depressed. The only way to combat that is to take care of ourselves, all right? So carve out some new time for you this weekend, and I'll see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.